Good afternoon, card stack fans. Welcome to another opening from the mail. So these are my picks from eBay, and I'm gonna go ahead and open them, show you what I got, and I'll explain why I've chosen each one. So we'll start with this package right here. Ooh, Mint 9, All-Star Rookie, Pedro Martinez. This is an Upper Deck 92. Forget how much I paid for this, but this is one of the best players to invest in right now, Pedro Martinez. And this is his rookie card on the Dodgers. <clears throat> it's a 1992 PS. PSA Mint 9. All right. Next, we're going to open this one. See what we got. Oh, yes. The classic John Smoltz Tom Glavin error card. This is not a picture of John Smoltz. This is, in, in fact, Tom Glavin, his teammate. So, I'm glad I got that. Man, this took a long time to get in the mail. Let's see what else I got here. And what do we have here? Oh, yes. We have the Barry Bonds. This is not a top Tiffany. This is Opeachy, which is even more rare. <clears throat> so this is the one to invest in. Um, I've seen the top Tiffany go for upwards of $2,000. The Opeachy goes upwards of $10,000, graded PSA 10 gem mint. So guys, this is the card you want. Um, I think most people are unaware of the difference. But if you do a little research on this, the Opeachy is more rare and is more valuable, so that's why I bought it. So yeah. Alright, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to open what I believe to be <clears throat> a 1989 upper deck, unopened, three pack, in search of the elusive Michael Jordan rookie card. You know, I've been searching for this thing so much that if I did, thanks and good luck, Steve. <laughs> it's funny. If I pulled my, um, not Michael Jordan, did I say Michael Jordan? Ken Griffey Jr. If I pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. out of one of these, it would be so surreal. But you know, one of the reasons why this is my favorite pack is not just because of Ken Griffey. There's a lot of other good players. There's John Smoltz, there's a Randy Johnson. Um, there's a few other rookies you can pull in 89. Uh, there's a lot of good Nolan Ryan cards as well. Let me sure, make sure I got this. Gotta be very careful. Open that just right. I'm just going to rip the p packet. That was better than expected. Jack Armstrong. Cecil SB. So one thing to note when you're opening a pack, not every card is the same as far as centering and grading and all that. If you have a PSA 10, it, it doesn't mean that they're all going to be PSA 10. So I had one of these Oakland A's fall out. Brady Anderson. 
believe that's a rookie card. Kelly Gruber. These cards are in pretty great shape, actually. Rick Honeycutt. Gene Walter. Mer Mariners. Now, guys, there's really no way to know if these cards have been, I don't want to say fooled with, but hand selected to be unopened if they were a part of a box. Wow, look at this. A drugstore for 99 cents. I would have loved to have bought these for 99 cents back in the day. It comes right out, and that's how you open these packs. Don't be afraid to open the pack. Don't be afraid. It won't hurt you. Gary Sheffield. Yes. Juan Bell. Rookie card. Chris Gwynn. I wonder if that's any relation to... Tony Gwynn. Gene Walter again. All right, guys. It all comes down to this last pack. Oh, this one's kind of tight. Got to get it just right. Can you imagine if I pull a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card? This is my fifth pack, foil pack of the low series number that I've opened. It's my third attempt, really. Gary Thurman, Kevin Gross, Ben Smith, Darren Jackson. Oh, look, more of these guys. John Franco. Oh, yes. I got it. I got the John Smoltz rookie. I really wanted that card too. And that's exactly why I bought this pack. That is it, guys. So, we came up with some really great ones. Um, John Smoltz, rookie. Juan Bell, rookie. Gary Sheffield, rookie. Um, as well as some other. Um, Brady Anderson, not a rookie, but still a good card nonetheless. And a Julio Franco. So I'm going to say that's like five solid ones. But we'll catch you next time, guys.